Good evening, my name is Randy Kunke. I'll be the moderator for the meeting tonight. Welcome to the Silicon Valley Institute Smart Life Forum. We are a nonprofit 501c3 organization. We get revenue by uh, a door fee, it's $10 to come in for one evening, or you can join us, become a member for $60 a year, and enter for free. Our mission is to provide credible health education to the public with an emphasis on optimal wellness, anti-aging medicine, and longevity. So that's our focus. And um, if you want to do something, if you hadn't already checked in at the front door or at the front desk before the evening started, please do that. Now uh, we have some great topics tonight. We've actually got three speakers. It's going to be a little bit um, kind of rapid fire. I've asked them to uh, move along a little bit in their talks, but uh, some really good subjects. So we've got uh, uh, the topics of dentistry combined with medicine, and we don't talk about dentistry here very often, but uh, dentistry and oral health is an extremely important area to be looking at when you're uh, looking out for all these kinds of things, overall well-being as well as anti-aging. And then our second talk is on raw milk. And uh, I was able to uh, spend quite a bit of time before this meeting with our raw milk speaker. And he's got a lot of really great things to share with you. And I'm, I'm excited, looking forward to that. We normally uh, will go, we'll probably break. Uh, we'll have a really quick break to uh, change speakers after about 40 minutes. And then we'll uh, have another break maybe a little longer break where you can have snacks and visit with each other a little bit at around 9 o'clock. Okay. Um, that said, uh, there were, uh, let's see, I know there's one question. Normally we would have questions, but given that we're starting late, um, I, I don't really want to open the floor up for questions, but one person did come to me and say they had a question, so um, that person, yes. So stand up and throw it out what your question is, and we'll, so we'll take that one question. The subject is, uh, Red light therapy, red light for eye. There's people that recommend it to my wife. They sell uh, infrared red light therapies for skin and for the eyes. Did anybody have any knowledge about the red light therapy or red lights for eyes and skin? Anybody want to volunteer to answer that? I, I actually can say a couple things about that myself. So um, yes, good stuff. Uh, I know people, uh, when my brothers did the research and stuff, for example, in the bathroom at night, he would switch it over so if there was a red light in the bathroom, and if he had to get up and go into the bathroom at night to use the red light, so because the white light will wipe out your melatonin. There's another aspect of red light, which is so near infrared light, which is also very nurturing and healing. And there's also infrared saunas, which are more of a far infrared, which is a little bit more about heating and getting yourself, uh, uh, well, getting yourself warm, actually, and encouraging circulation in that way. But the near infrared penetrates your body and will go in about an inch or more, and it's uh, quite therapeutic. I heard anything about eyes. Um, I don't know. I've, I've tried it on my eyes myself. And uh, I can't say that I've had any particular results from that. And I don't know if I didn't do it consistently or long enough. It's probably quite safe. Um, and uh, yeah, it, and it depends. Now, I don't have like, for example, if you're talking about vernacular degeneration or something like that, um, I, don't, I don't have that. So if it's more for that, for, for the macula or for the retina or stuff like that, that'd be interesting stuff. Actually, it's. Fun thing is you can shine it on the side of your head and you can still see it. You see red. 